Okay, it's September 9, year 2009. Look what I what I got. I just purchased a function generator from one of the surplus store here in Manila. Guess how much uh, how much did I get it? Cost me only uh 500 pesos each. Okay, so I bought three. Less than uh ten dollars. About ten dollars. Let me show you. Okay. Okay, here's my function generator. I have two function generator and the other one, this is a sweep generator, okay? Perfectly working. Yeah. Frequency range from uh, uh, 2 megahertz, okay? This is uh, uh, up to 2 megahertz function generator, okay? One nice thing about this function generator is that it's controlled for a duty cycle. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Let's go to a sine wave. So there, my oscilloscope showing a sine wave. Sine wave, triangular wave, and square wave. Okay, close closely. Sine wave. Triangular wave, square wave, okay? Let me turn on the GD cycle, okay? Yeah. And now this is a frequency, okay? This is the duty cycle, adjustable duty cycle. The problem with this duty cycle can perform up to a uh, 100% or 99%. It like only goes to uh that's the maximum okay duty cycle like, like less than ninety percent okay yeah I can invert it there invert it's so perfect for my speed controller uh project okay I'm going to make a speed controller for uh, our forklift. Yeah. Okay. Here's my uh, speed con. Uh, I'm doing a project, a forklift project there. Let me show you. This is the biggest speed controller. It's a DC motor. Uh -huh. There. Electronic speed controller using a huge, uh, this is a huge SCR motor. There. SCR, this is a 235 ampere SCR. Okay. And look like uh, it's impossible to repair this because the uh, one of the modules has a uh, burn up. Okay, I open it up and look like it's, it's impossible to repair it. So this is how it looks like in there. I'm going to replace this with a power MOSFET speed controller. Okay, okay, that's about it.